It is time to find out who will be tonight's unexpected star of the show! <laughs> so let's meet tonight's unexpected star. This is Chloe. She is from Nottingham and she is only 11 years old. She will tonight become our youngest ever unexpected star of the show. <laughs> She is an incredible little girl who loves to sing, but Chloe has had a very difficult time this year due to illness. She spends a lot of time in hospital, and it's a huge night for her. She's been nominated by her mum, Lynette, who is in the audience, and we're going to find out all about amazing Chloe before she performs for you. Where are you, Lynette? It's mum! Mum, Lynette! Hi! Yes! We've already met. How are you, Lynette? Okay. Lovely to see you. You're nervous. Okay. Well, it's a huge night. So, Lynette, tell all of us all about Chloe. She's a, she loves to sing. She does. She's an amazing young girl. She's had a really tough year. She has an issue called dysphagia, so right. she struggles to swallow. Okay. And she became very weak due to lack of nutrition. Right. So, they, earlier on this year, they fitted an NG feeding tube, and she's just gone from strength to strength. And she was singing before this happened? She did. And when she got the tube fit, she was very worried that she won't be able to sing the same. And music means so much to her, and singing just got her through, I think, all the difficult times. Well, it's a huge night for Chloe, yes. and because she's only 11, we couldn't create an no. elaborate <laughs> surprise on this stage like we normally do. So we did something a little bit different we last week. Now, Chloe is a big fan of... Harry Potter. ..of Harry Potter. <laughs> Harry Potter fans in tonight? <laughs> Harry Potter fans? So, you took Chloe... Well, we convinced her that I'd entered a competition online. Right. And she believed me that I won VIP tickets for Very a good. special tour at Harry Potter World. And the tour was given by a professional, and she was joined by a trainee tour guide <laughs> called Gavin. <laughs> now, Gavin, where he was from the West Country, and <laughs> he was me. <laughs> She had absolutely no, no idea. idea. So, um, let's, should we have a look at how that planned out for Chloe? Yeah. It's just a few days ago at Harry Potter Studios. Let's have a little watch of this. Good evening, everyone. A very warm welcome to Warner Brothers Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter. My name's Elise. I'm going to be your tour guide for this evening. And a bit later on, we might be joined by one of our trainee tour guides as well. And we are filming this for our website, so literally pretend the cameras aren't here. So I thought we'd kick things off this evening at the Hogwarts <laughs> Express. Aha! Hi, sorry, I'm Gavin. Lee. Yeah, Gavin. <laughs> Alice, hello. Elise. Alice, Alice. Elise. Al Alice. Elise. All right, nice to see you, thanks. Brilliant. I'm ready. I'm ready where you are. Fantastic. I'll shadow you. So I really I'm... need this job. <laughs> I need the money. Mm, OK, so I think we'll begin where Hogwarts students start their journey. Where is that, Gavin? The cupboard under the stairs. <laughs> the Hogwarts Express. There we go. OK, so take your mind all the way back to the first film, The Philosopher's Stone, in particular, their first ever flying lesson with Madame Hooch. I could tell you how it worked, but... Do you want to give it a go? Yeah. Come on, then, right. What I want you to do is stand next to the broomstick, just like you're in the film, so then hand above the broomstick, and when you're ready, say up like you mean it. Oh, my God! <laughs> How did you do that? That's amazing! Can I have a go? Why not? Oh, you go for amazing. it. But you've got to make sure you say up like you mean it. Up like I mean it! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> How did I do that? That's amazing! <laughs> Who's this man? You know this man? Who's that, then? Snape. That is absolutely right. That is Professor Snape. Yeah, very Professor good indeed. Professor Snape from um, the Harry Potter films. Perfect answer. I actually do an impression of S Professor Snape. Oh. I, I can do it. Well, I can only do, like, one word. <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. You're all staring at me. <laughs> you can only say one word. So think Snape in your head when I do it, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Thank you. No, 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 no. 
Ask me if I'll stop doing my impression. Will you stop doing your impression? No. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK, back to some props. As you've seen around I've here... I've totally got this job. That was awesome. <laughs> I totally got this job. You know I have. You know I have. Hire me. <laughs> Sorry. So, actually... Gavin, do you want to really carefully take one of our potions up to everyone? You can take a closer look at that. Would you like that? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Were these actually used in the film? Yeah, everything you see here is the real deal. <laughs> so... Thank you for giving me that responsibility. <laughs> so what would this be worth? That's amazing. Oh, oh it feels quite heavy. Completely priceless. Completely pr Oh, it's amazing. You want to take a photo of that? Wow. It's nice to meet you. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. oh my Oh, my God. Oh, Oh, my God. That's gone, that. Clean up! <laughs> Clean up! Clean up! Like, I mean it! I don't know that spell. Oh, my. <laughs> so this is the entrance to the Great Hall. The real deal. The actual so one that they sat in. We're going to go into it. Yep. <laughs> OK, what's your name? Chloe, brilliant. All right, uh, come on in. You're up here. So this is the great door to the great room from the great film franchise, <laughs> Harry Potter. And we're going to ask you to give it a great big push and get in it. This is your moment, and you go. And the both, other doors, both doors, both doors, both doors. <laughs> is, oh, look at that! <laughs> come on inside, everybody. OK, everyone gather around the age line that we've got in front of us here. Right, so this is the Goblet of Fire. It is indeed. I've just been talking to my friend Chloe, who opened up the doors here, yeah. and she says it's her favourite film, The Goblet. Oh, is it? Absolutely favourite ah, film. Oh, great. So remember, in the films, this has a pretty big job. It chooses the three contestants for the Triwizard Tournament. But as you could probably will remember, a fourth one came flying out. Whose name was on the paper? <laughs> Yeah, it was Harry Potter's. And, in fact, let's show you how this works. You can see... To begin with, it's got that glowing blue colour. It's choosing who that contestant it's going to be. Once it's chosen, it will turn red. And then the name will come flying out. Does it say Harry Potter? What does no. it say? Chloe, you are the unexpected star. <laughs> Chloe? What does it say, Chloe? What? The unexpected star. Unexpected star? What could that be? Any ideas what that might be? I don't know. Unexpected star of the show, Chloe. Ever heard of something called that on the TV? Yeah. Yeah, Chloe, because uh, uh -huh. it's not just a crazy coincidence. <laughs> I know a little bit of magic myself, Chloe. It turns out <laughs> that I'm not here for a job interview. <laughs> and I do very bad impressions. <laughs> I'm actually... This ain't me real nose, either. <laughs> it's actually a pretend nose. They stuck on me. And a pretend beard and everything. <laughs> that comes right off like that. <laughs> the Goblet of Fire has selected you. And, of course, this isn't my real voice. Nor is this my bald head. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe! We're here to surprise you, because you are an amazing, amazing, amazing singer and performer. And your mum's put you forward. This is all for you. I hope you recognise me, even with my face off. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, the plan is you would come to the theatre and you would perform for everybody in the theatre and on my TV show, because you're amazing. All I have to ask you, Chloe, is will you be the unexpected star of the show? Yeah! Come on! a few days ago. Tonight is her night. Please welcome the unexpected star of tonight's show. It's 11-year-old Chloe! Granny and great granny in your seat. 
sister. How exciting. Chloe, that was amazing. Um, <laughs> tell me what happened on the day. So you genuinely thought that it was a tour of Harry Potter Studios? Yeah, because I've always said that how could anybody not realise? <laughs> but I had absolutely no clue. <laughs> what did you think of that of Gavin <laughs> when he was giving you the tour? He was odd. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know what this is all about? This is because of your amazing love of singing. And yeah. you've been rehearsing since you found out. Yeah, and you, and a you... lot. <laughs> 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 um, and it's your dream to sing. Yeah. Is it your dream to sing for a big audience? Yeah. <laughs> <That's my dream>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, so... I've got to tell you, everybody here is completely rooting for you to do amazingly well tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's unexpected star of the show is the amazingly sweet Chloe! <laughs> Yay! See you later, Chloe! Love, Chloe! Earlier this week, we gave 11-year-old Chloe a magical surprise. Let's find out how Chloe has been getting on backstage. <laughs> I'm just hyped up, excited to sing, but very nervous. Hi. Hi. How, How are you doing? doing? Really good, thank you. Welcome to your rehearsal room. I think Chloe's doing a magnificent job. Sometimes when you give a little person a big song, there's a danger of getting sort of too big and too shouty. I'm not quite sure what to say to you. <laughs> Let me away. Her voice is incredible, and the speed that she picks up changes. She just gets it. It is a dream, really. I've always wanted to be on this show, but I never actually thought that I would. Please give it up for the sensational It's Chloe! <laughs> Listen to the song you in my heart. I start a kid. 